My name's David Skinner, and I'm a licensed falconer, and I, uh, which means that I have a permit in order to uh, that I can hunt and train um, birds of prey. Um, anybody idea, have any idea what kind of bird this is? Any guesses? Peregrine falcon. He is. He's half peregrine falcon. It's kind of a trick because in some of the falconry birds, they actually have hybrids, and he's half jeer falcon, half peregrine falcon. So he was raised in captivity. And you can see he's got a little he's got little leather straps on his legs that hold him down. That they're called jesses. And he has a hood that's supposed to so he can't he's not supposed to be able to see through it, but obviously he can see a little bit through it because he's trying to bite me. But he also has a little band around his leg. I don't know if you can see that. That means that he it, it, that was put on him when he was a baby, and then he grew into it. So it can't come on or off. And that's how um, that they can keep track of the ones that are bred in captivity. So he has a little number on there, and that associates just right with him. And uh, so f one of the reasons I got asked to talk, you guys went to go look for sage grouse today. Well, that's some of the, one of the things that um, Gabriel and I go and do in the wintertime, is we actually go and hunt sage grouse. Well, I was asked to talk a little bit about um, falconry and sage grouse conservation, and what the connection is there. Falconers, um, there are falconers who really enjoy hunting sage grouse um, and have done so for, for a number of years. Um, they're kind of like the uh, big game trophy of falconry. Um, and so falconers are, have an inherent interest in, in making sure that we have healthy populations of sage grouse. What, some of the things that um, falconers have done have helped uh, notify the correct agencies um, when there have been some issues uh, related to sage grouse. Um, some examples are the fence strike issue. That came from some falconers in Wyoming who started noticing on wintering areas that they'd find, new, where new fences were put up, they'd find dead sage grouse along there. And there was, they actually started in, doing some uh, conservation initially with just putting like beer cans, hanging them on uh, uh, fences. And that's actually turned into now a, a west-wide effort to actually mark um, important fences near sage grouse lecks or, or important wintering areas to avoid fence strikes uh, for grouse. Um, another example was um, there was a power line that was proposed, um, a small power line that went right across the main uh, migration area where sage grouse go to winter. And falconers brought up some, uh, were concerned about that and were able to go to um, some various agencies who were able to get enough money together that they buried the power line instead of, of putting it up um, where there may have been potential issues with predators and sage grouse there, as well as collisions. Um, the North American Grouse Partnership was primarily formed by, by falconers um, who are concerned about sage grouse populations and have been active in um, commenting on particular projects um, as well as habitat uh, enhancement projects. We were able to get some funding together to help um, include Forbes seeds in reseeding, um, and that's still that's still an ongoing project. Um, we made comments on the proposed airport in uh, Blaine County here. Uh, that's a major wintering area, that a place where falconers have hunted for a long time, and we're able to um, express to Fish and Game particularly how, how important we thought it was, and they've looked into it and 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 have determined that it is an important wintering area, and it's been one of the reasons why the airport decision on moving it out here is, is on hold. Um, there's, a, there's a great deal of respect for um, sage grouse by falconers. It's, it's definitely our, um, I don't even know how to describe it, a religious quarry almost. Um, we also participate and help do annual let counts and some, some number of falconers actually record all observations that they have, the GPSing um, of, of sage grouse in general and, and provide it to, to fishing game. And it's been a really, really good program and we're, we're hoping to do our part to help, help uh, restore the species. Uh, so what do you think I feed him then? If he catches yeah. ducks and sage grouse sometimes. Some of that stuff, right. So this is part of the, the yummy part. So here we have pieces of duck. <laughs> like here, this is a duck's head, <laughs> which he thinks is great. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> Let me take his hood off now. So, can... so that way he will pay attention and not try to fly off because he's got food. He has super big eyes. His eyes 
Those are so cool. You don't mind. So with the with the sage grouse, so if I if I let him go and then he flies up high, so he basically gets trained to know that any time I I let him go means he's going to get to chase something, and so I'm basically just his trained human that goes flushing for him. It's basically what it amounts to for him, and then feeds him if he doesn't catch anything. So it's a pretty good deal for him. And, and, and he still tries to bite you. And he still tries to bite me. Yep, I know he's not really really grateful. That's for sure. Uh, that's that's him breaking that neck. So when falcons actually kill stuff, instead of like hawks and eagles, when they kill stuff, they just use their feet and they grab like a rabbit in the head and go like that really hard. Like an eagle, when they does it, it's fast. The rabbit doesn't live very long. A hawk does it. It can take a little while before. With falcons, they grab stuff and they actually get them on the ground and then they break their necks with their beak. And a duck's neck is about the same size as my finger. So you know what that means. <laughs> he could potentially, if I were just to let him, he could, he, he, his beak is strong enough he could potentially break my finger. Yep. But I'm not going to let him. <laughs> or try not to let him. That's pretty cool. Yep. We won't let him, he's still fine. Yep.